before we begin, do you have any questions for me? Okay, great. So I'm gonna begin with just, uh, with just rinsing out your mouth first. So that way it gives me a clean base before I begin everything else. So, I have this dental rinse. And uh, it freshens breath and fights cavities, so that's always good. <laughs> and uh, it says use at least twice a day after brushing teeth. Swish and then spit. But we're gonna just use it today. Do you use a mouthwash at home? Oh, okay. Suggest just using one every day. Once, once a day is fine. And it helps really clean out the teeth more than you could with just brushing your teeth. swish for about one minute. Don't swallow it. <laughs> that would be bad. Perfect. Also, if you see me reaching over here, this is where all my supplies are. So, so go ahead and just swish for me. Good. And then I'm going to have you spin. sure that you don't have any loose teeth. I'm going to be using this tool here. It looks scarier than it actually is. So let's start with the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. How much black you have built up in here. How often do you brush your teeth? Oh, okay, so that's that's very good. Twice a day. Do you tend to do it before meals or after meals ever? Okay. And 
how often do you floss? Okay. So flossing you could work on, but you know, a lot of the population can work on flossing, so it's not just doing great. I know this is not very fun, but just try to relax for me and it will be over as soon as you know it. So I'm really focusing on the gum line here because that is where all the plaque can collect and cause cavities. scraping the black off. And you know I'm not going to talk much because I hate when you're at the dentist and they keep talking and asking you questions because your mouth is so open and full. So, how are you supposed to answer? and the retainer that I fit you for today. Have you noticed any pain when you're biting down or eating? Okay, and any problem areas, any sore gum areas or anything like that, any tooth that's been giving you issues? Okay, good. So you do have a few cavities, but it sounds like they're not
Hello, Karen. Are you doing okay? Okay, good. Again, if you feel any pain, let me know. It might be a little sore, but...
I'm gonna have you uh, take a break a little bit. You can rest your mouth. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I scraped off all the black and everything. So now we're just going to apply tooth polish, and this will help shine your teeth and also keep any cavities from forming. So I have two different flavors here. I have chocolate flavor or bubble gum flavor. So what one would you like? The bubble gum. Okay, good choice. Okay, so to apply this polish, I'm just going to use this right here. Um, it just helps me apply the polish to your teeth. It's just an attachment to the drill. So, I'm gonna have you open and we'll begin. So I'm just gonna get some polish on... I don't know what you call this. I guess it's a drill, but it's not a drill. Okay. And I'm just gonna polish each tooth. Um, you might hear a drill sound intermittent.
have you um, go ahead and close your mouth for me and smile. And I'm just going to do the outside here. We'll really focus on the front teeth here, since that is what most people see when you smile. have quite a few cavities. Some of them I'm not going to really need to pull or not. I'm not going to have to drill because they're, they're not that bad yet. So as long as you uh, brush them a little bit better and make sure you're keeping up on your dental hygiene, you may never have to fill those. Um, so today I'm just going to be working on the ones that I feel are the most concerning. So for that, I'm going to switch out my attachment here. I have this drill attachment. Okay, so let's see here. I want to focus on the cavities that are uh, your back molars here. And then also a big I see about three that need to be fixed. Okay. So um, this might be a little uncomfortable, but I promise it will be fast. Okay. 
I'm going to have you open wide for me and you might feel a bit of pressure. Just relax. And you might hear a bit of sound. done with the first one. I told you it would be pretty easy and fast.
fit your braces. Oh, you can go ahead and close your mouth. Um, before I fit your braces and retainer, I do want to just um, do a basic cleaning on your teeth. Then I go ahead and floss. And this is floss for healthy gums. And the flossing is very important for healthy gums because it removes all the plaque and tartar that your toothbrush can't reach. Some teeth, you may notice, are a little bit harder to get into, and that's because your teeth are unevenly spaced. So some of them are tighter than others. So you just want to gently insert it into there, into the space, not forcing or anything. Your gums are bleeding a little bit. That's okay, most people's gums bleed when I do this. So I'm just gently making a sawing motion between each tooth here. And making sure to get the back as well. I'm just going to go back. doing a great job. So these teeth are a little bit closer together, so it's a little harder to fit my floss in there. But you're doing great. So I'm just gonna 
for about two minutes, but you don't want to brush too long because that can cause a uh, recession in your gums. And you also don't want to brush too short of time because that can cause cavities and you may be missing an area. getting behind your teeth, the very back. And then usually I'll go for the front, the front teeth one more time. and fit your retainer and braces on. So, 
have this cute container here that I'm going to give to you with your retainer so you can keep it in there. So I'm first going to fit your retainer before I place the braces on. So this is the retainer. It's just a clear retainer here and it has one for the bottom and one for the top. So we're going to put the top first because I tend to think that's easier here. loose, but as your teeth straighten out a little bit, then I think it will fit a lot better. So just uh, close your mouth for me and smile and bite a couple of times. Good, it looks like it's sticking on there pretty good. Go ahead and do it one more time for me and bite. This one especially, so uh, this tooth right here is pretty crooked, so it might cause a little issues with your retainer fitting, but as that tooth straightens out from the braces, it should work better. to do is pull from the back. There's two little tabs here and they'll come right off. Um, you can take them off from pulling, you know, over here or up here, but it's just going to hurt more and it might break the retainer. So that's how I remove them. And like I said, I'm going to put it in this case here. So you have a nice little case for them and they won't get lost. So same for the top. So in the back and pull. pull. And then to put them in, you just stick them on. Line them up and stick them on. Okay? So like I said, we'll place these in here. So they don't get ruined or lost or, you know, dogs chew on them sometimes. Okay. So now, uh, for the last part of the visit, I'm going to bake your braces. So these are the braces I have, one for the top, one for the bottom. So, let's see here. Okay, I think this one's for the top, but we'll see. Alright, take that here. Again, I apologize for the air sound. It's just too hot to not have air today. Those aren't fitting very well, are they? The brackets are lining up good, though. Okay, for the bottom here, just make sure the brackets are lining up. Okay, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and secure the brackets here, so just bite down for me. sure they're placed perfectly in line with the tooth here. Good. Now over the top, which wants to keep falling off. those feeling? Are they feeling okay? Okay, go ahead and bite down a couple of times for me. or anything, please let me know. And then um, I want to see you back in a month to just check on the braces, maybe get a quick cleaning, and um, also we will make sure the retainer is fitting okay. So thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you being here and have a great